Hi guys, Chris or CIA here, and in today's video, I'm just going to be explaining pretty much where I've been for the past year and where I plan to take my channel moving forward. Obviously, YouTube was something that I did for almost two years pretty consistently, and I have not been uploading very much within the past year, so I'm pretty much explaining what causes transition and what my plans are for the summer because I want to start uploading again. What's up guys, it is Chris or CIA here and I'm just going to be explaining in this video the changes I'll be making to my channel and why I have not been uploading very much recently. So over the course of the past year, I've started streaming on Twitch a lot. It's something I'd never really done before in my life. I started streaming on Twitch last summer, so it was something really new to me. I uploaded a couple of videos last summer, I didn't upload a lot, but before that I'd really only been a content creator in the space, I'd never been a streamer. And pretty much once I started on Twitch, I discovered that I really enjoyed streaming. Like I still enjoy making videos and content, but I just felt that I really like being able to broadcast like my live personality and live like gameplay. So pretty much over the course of the past like year, I really just been streaming a lot on Twitch. It was my first year of college and I pretty much was just streaming like the entire year. Towards the middle of last summer, I was in a team called Onsite Gaming as a streamer, and I was having a stream one day with some of my friends at the time, um, Revs and Magma, and we were all playing Fortnite, and I believe there's another guy, yeah, Wolf too. I always forget Wolf. I love Wolf. Like, he's such a nice guy, but we just didn't talk as much, like, after this situation I'm explaining right now, so that's why I always forget him. The, um, one of the leaders of lethal gaming came into my twitch chat one day but we all were just chilling playing fortnite one day this leader come or one of the leaders came into my chat and he actually picked all four of us up to an organization called lethal gaming so after we joined lethal gaming we joined as streamers all four of us and we actually joined as an affiliate of lethal gaming as a part of the group called the lethal army the lethal army was tied to the lethal llc which were the actual streamers for lethal gaming i would not trade being in that organization for anything it really helped me find out how much i enjoyed streaming so after joining this organization they were playing exceptionally well in call of duty esports at the time world war ii was a game that i had not played very much i just did not find it like a very enjoyable game i know like i've always been a really big call of duty person but I just did not find that game very enjoyable and I was doing other things in my life at the time. I was on Twitter one day and I actually, I, I don't even, this, this is something I'm never gonna forget in my life. I retweeted a tweet from Scuff Gaming for tickets to go to Call of Duty World League Champ. Having Lethal have the opportunity to potentially play there because I didn't stream until last summer either. And obviously being very big into Call of Duty in the past, my origins with sniping and everything and the teams that I know, like I knew I was gonna probably see FaZe Clan play if I got to go to this. I was like, okay, I'm gonna retweet this obviously. So I have no clue whatsoever, but by some miracle, I won a ticket from scuff to go to call of duty world champs or world league champs last year you what right when this happened i was ecstatic of course like i was like oh my god like i have to go to this i literally just got a free ticket there's no way i don't go to this first thing i did literally as soon as i saw that like i got it i was like are you serious and then they were like yeah and i was like okay literally i'm not even kidding i think i actually yeah, i'm pretty sure i was midstream when i did it my sister comes downstairs because that's where I stream when I'm at my house and she just like comes to say something and the first thing I say is do you think I'd be able to go to something in Ohio in a week with that because at that point champs was literally a week out she said if I talk to my dad I might be able to actually do it and that kind of surprised me because it was only within a week's time and magma ended up coming with me at champs lethal did make it and did participate so i did get to see them play 
Optic Gaming unfortunately did not. So that was very much so a bummer. So I've never seen Optic play live in Call of Duty, even though I have been to a Call of Duty World League event. That, it's pretty tragic. Being able to go with one of my best friends and now my duo to an event like that, it was one of the greatest experiences, if not the greatest of my life. I really genuinely just had the most fun I've ever had. Being a content creator before and following and knowing all of these players from the community, like Scum and Krim and all of these guys that I've known since I was in middle school now and been doing this, even though I didn't do competitive, I was in sniping and I was involved in the community. So I knew esports, I watched esports. I remember watching a lot of the champs for a lot of these games and just being able to go to a live event that was a championship for a game. Being able to see teams that I used to make sniping montages for, play like old Call of Duties, try to hit clips for and stuff like that. It was just, it was remarkable to me. Just, it was crazy to me being able to see like FaZe Clan like live because like FaZe Clan was such a huge part of something I looked up to a lot when I was growing up. Rain and Adapt were two of my biggest day one inspirations for when I was a heavy content creator and really invested in YouTube. At the event, Lethal did not win, unfortunately, so that was a little bit of a bummer, but I still had a great time and getting to see an organization that I was a part of or affiliated with play at an event that big was something I'm never gonna forget in my life. I also got to meet a lot of the pros. At the event, I actually got a Call of Duty World League Shaker Cup. I don't know if you can see the logo right there or not. A G Fuel Shaker Cup that I got, and I got a lot of the pros to sign it. At that point, after that event, that's when I knew that streaming and playing competitive was something that I wanted to do or pursue. After having that many things, that those many blessings happened to me in such a short amount of time of streaming, because that was all within under two months, I believe, from when I started streaming. So after reflecting on champs, I was like, if I can accomplish that much in streaming in two months, that many blessings happen. I feel like it's a sign that if I enjoy it, it's something I should definitely keep doing. So as time went on, I continued streaming. I, w I just started variety streaming. It wasn't really until after Champs that I started playing World War II again, because like I said, I did not really enjoy the game when it first came out. So I pretty much continued variety streaming games up until the new Call of Duty came out. After the new Call of Duty came out, <laughs> I loved it right from the beginning. A lot of people do not like this Call of Duty at all, but I think this Call of Duty is a very good Call of Duty. So eventually, one day, a member of an organization I was in came into my stream and saw my gameplay. So the member on my team comes in and says, bro, you're frying right now. He was like, do you want this or do you want a link to this TENS Discord? And I was like, a TENS Discord? And he was like, yeah, you can play competitive in it. And I was like, I've never really played competitive or I've never really thought about it that much. And he's like, well, you're definitely doing good here. It might take some time, but you can probably do well in there. And that was the first time I had ever really thought, like, maybe I actually could have a future in competitive. I thought before I knew I was an above average player, but I felt it was just because I played, like, Call of Duty a lot in my lifetime. Because obviously I played a lot when I was a sniper in Black Ops 2 and Ghosts and in those eras. So I played Call of Duty quite a bit growing up. So I never really thought too much of it. But having someone else come into my stream and recognize my gameplay and say that I was like frying like that, that made me think that like I possibly like actually am, you know, good at this. Like maybe something actually could happen in my life one day. So after that, I was like, okay, I might as well give this tennis court a shot. Like, why would I not? So I checked out the tennis court and I saw that there was always people in there, like 
every, pretty much every day, there would be 50 people in there, five servers going in game. And I was like, this could really help me become a better player a lot, I feel like. Pretty much from that moment on, I knew that I wanted to keep playing competitive. I just started playing in that atmosphere more. I kept playing, or I started playing in those games, in the tense cores, and just wanting to get better was something that I really wanted to do. Having this opportunity to really just take the time to reflect each individual game I'm playing in an atmosphere with also high caliber players, I thought that was a really, really good opportunity for me. Pretty much from that moment on, I just focus my time on playing competitive and streaming, which is why I've not been uploading to YouTube. I just started summer break about a week ago. I do still want to upload to YouTube, which is why I'm deciding to start that right now. I feel like the beginning of the summer is the best time to start because I feel like I'm gonna have a lot more free time without having to manage school. The content I'll be uploading are much less gonna be logs and content like pranks and stuff like that it's going to be much more focused around gameplay and videos just of me playing stuff my goal at the beginning is to try to do two youtube videos a week i feel like that will be a manageable number and i want to be able to keep my channel going consistently because youtube is definitely something i still like a lot and want to continue doing the videos i upload will be reoriented and kind of in a different direction than what i was taking before i plan to upload like more videos from my streams like clips from them and videos of gameplay and just me playing games having a good time my goal for the future is to use my youtube as a way to grow the same community that is on my Twitch because I want my Twitch and my YouTube to be the same community. Next week, I plan to start uploading two YouTube videos a week. They will not be like this. I just felt like I need to make a video like this because I haven't uploaded in months. They are gonna be good uploads, hopefully. Like, I hope you guys enjoy them, obviously. Dumbass motherfucker. They're gonna be like regular uploads and I hope you guys enjoy them. That's all I have for this video. It has been CIA or Chris. Peace out.